in this video, we're going to find what is a must-have tobacco, why it's so popular in Russia, and why you should check out it. Hello everyone, my name is Huko Donald. It's my YouTube channel about the shishas, water pipes, hookahs, and else. <laughs> Let's say like this. It's my first English video on this channel. Uh, the timetable of such videos, because most of my content is on Russian, would be once in two weeks or something like this. So today we are going to speak about the must-have tobaccos. I suppose you've seen it in some of the video clips on YouTube or maybe in the, your local shops. Uh, it's one of the most popular tobaccos in Russia nowadays. How officially said, it is made from seven types of barley, so it's a black tobacco. Uh, let me show you how it looks. Uh, oops, how it looks from inside. So I'm opening one of the. Yeah, it's going in such kind of boxes, so it's pretty easy to use them and it's pretty comfortable. And now let me show you how it looks. So it's kind of uh, medium strength, uh, but I think for you it would be a little bit higher than the medium. It's much uh, stronger than uh, Adalia, Alfaker, uh, Nahla for sure. So it's kind of the medium, upper medium. But for Russians, it's medium for sure. It's really bad tobacco. Uh, you can see that there is a really small fraction of it. Um, or I could say that it's over wet. It would give you too much flavor. However, about it, we will speak a little bit further. Yeah, now let's speak a little bit about aromatics of these products. Uh, I would say my top five. Uh, first of all, it would be pineapple rings. Uh, you know, it's like a canned pineapple. So basically that's the taste <laughs> of pineapple, which you are getting uh, if you just open the can. It's uh, juicy, tropical, a uh, little bit sour. So it's pretty good flavor, aroma. Uh, next one, let me found it. It's unicorn treats. Uh, basically, if you know the tangerius, tangiers are uh, another breakfast, it's kind of similar. So it's also kind of uh, oatmeal, but I would say it mostly like, uh, you, maybe you know the uh, American, uh, one of the most popular breakfasts, it would be here. Uh, so it's this thing with small kind of marshmallows. Next to flavors about which I'm going to tell you, it's uh, milky rice. Probably it's really unique flavor because uh, it's really like uh, rice porridge, really milky, uh, there are a lot of vanilla flavor in it. So I could say it's really unique uh, thing, which you couldn't find in other tobaccos. Next one is vanilla cream. You could uh, you can say that I really a uh, fan of uh, sweet flavors and vanilla ones. Vanilla cream, uh, it's like, hmm, uh, let me say it's kind of vanilla ice cream, but without the cold part. So it's pretty good aroma, which you could use in the desserts. Uh, you could make uh, some kind of milkshakes from it. Maybe you put some berries inside. However, I would show you uh, two mixes a uh, little bit further. And last but not least uh, would be Caribbean rum. I would not say that it's really alcoholic flavor. Uh, for me, it's more like a candy with a rum, uh, but you know, like a lollipop with a rum. However, if you put uh, a lot of uh, heat on it, you could find even a pop popcorn inside of it. It's really funny because uh, you would never uh, think about the Caribbean rum that, that could be a taste of the popcorn. So it was my top five. Uh, unicorn treats, uh, milky rice, uh, pineapple rings, uh, Caribbean rum and vanilla cream. And now I would like to show you a few of the mixes uh, where we would use only must-have tobacco. And in a, another one, we will use some other tastes from uh, other brands. So let's go for it. I'm going to show you two mixes. Uh, for one of them, I will use the type of the bowl, which is funnel. And another one, uh, it's a Turkish bowl, let's say like this. Uh, it's made by Moon, pretty good one. And this one is made by Cosmo Bowl, so it looks nice and it smokes nice. That's the most important thing. So the first mix would be the most gachi mix 
uh, it would be powerful rings, pinkman, and you can use any kind of uh, cold, like, I, for example, I will use ice mint, so you can use any kind of mint. Uh, the pink one uh, is a mix of uh, strawberry, uh, raspberry, lychee, and uh, grapefruit. Yes, I am remembering it right. This mix would be pretty easy. It would be 50% pink man, 50% strawberry. Oh, not strawberry, sorry guys. 50% uh, pineapple rings. And like, let's say one extra percent of I would use here ice mint. So our bowl is ready. Uh, <laughs> the reason why it's a really gotcha mix uh, because you could give it to anyone and he will like it because uh, it could go like a fruit, it could go like berries, it could go like a dessert. Um, however, it wouldn't really go something like a grass mix maybe or some sour mix, but However, it would be nice and <laughs> gotcha mix. Um, I don't really recommend to use such kind of mixes because it's pretty simple, um, but maybe for you it would be okay. So try it. Try the most gotcha mix from Russia. Second one. Uh, in the second bowl, I'm going to make uh, corn kind of porridge, corn porridge, something like this. I will use milky rice, corn from uh, Sibero, and cookies and milk uh, from Spectrum. So the milky rice uh, will go like the main kind of porridge. As I'm putting uh, must have inside our milky rice, I'm going to tell you the pluses and minuses of uh, this tobacco. Two minuses for me, uh, that there is too much aroma. So if you put just uh, 10 or 15% of the must have, uh, you wouldn't really feel Mm, other flavors, so other brands of tobacco. That's the reason why I put it on the down of the bowl. Uh, another minus that uh, I already showed it to you, it's really bad and uh, if a lot of this tobacco will go to the holes inside the bowl, you could not have so easy going of uh, air through your shisha and it would be really hard to smoke it. So I'm putting the cookies and milk inside of it to make it a uh, little bit more sweet. And you know, I really like to fill in my porridge some kind of small cookies. So <laughs> it will be give it will give us some really nice aroma. And our last ingredient, which I'm going to use. Oh, it smells so good. It's like, you know, corn, uh, which you can buy on the beach. It's corn from Sibero and I'm putting it as a percent. So percentage of both of these mixes will be somewhere here. So we're putting it all inside and uh, here we wouldn't think about the layers or something else, we would just mix all together. So we will fill all of our aromas in the one way, like the whole already made mix. And we are putting coals, on our bowls, <laughs> let's say like this. And I'm going to tell you more about the mixes and main pluses and minuses of must-have tobacco. So our first bowl is ready. Uh, let's check it out. How are we checking that the bowl is ready? You can see that the smoke is going out of the bowl. So we understand that the bowl is ready. First, it will be the mix of Pinkman, pineapple rings and a little bit of ice. And let me tell you how it smokes. And while I'm tasting it, I'm reinvesting one of the coals to another bowl. It's pretty basic aroma for me. <laughs> it's a pretty basic mix <laughs> for all of the Russians. Uh, however, here we can uh, taste some kind of tropics, which is going from pineapple. Uh, it's really sweet from the pink one because it's really, really, really oversweetened. So I would really recommend you to try this out. Uh, and for, for sure, we uh, tasting here the little bit of ice, which is going from ice meat. Um, my recommendation here would use uh, not the meat, but just like the clear ice. Let me taste it one more time because it's the most gachi moment here. 
Yeah. So my recommendations are how to make the must have. First of all, you're making the mixture inside your bowl. I will explain you while I will change the bowls here. Uh, so you're putting the tobacco inside. After you wait around three to five minutes, I would recommend you to heat it up on the four coals and to smoke it on two or three, depends on you. Yeah, that's how I recommend you to prepare your must-have tobacco bowl. And let's check out our next mix. It's also ready, I suppose. Yeah, that one is perfect for me. It's really corn porridge. I can taste here the corn, like, you know, maybe a canned corn with the milk rice, which is going to a lot of uh, vanilla flavor and a really porridge taste. The proportion of both mixes you could see previously. And now I will tell you what are the pluses and minuses of the must-have tobacco. In my opinion, the uh, main plus is that there are a lot of really good flavors here. So you can find from something basic, you know, like let's say watermelon, something really interesting like a Baikal. I will tell you about it in my Instagram, so check out it in the description. Uh, another plus uh, that is pretty stable tobacco, so whenever you would buy it, it will be okay to smoke and you don't really need to think a lot about the mixes with it because it's uh, in the most flavors they're already already mixes. And now let's speak about the minuses. It's uh, really really over aroma. So if you're using it in the mixture, uh, I would recommend you to use not more than 15 to 20 percent of must-have if you're mixing it with another brand. Another minus of uh, this tobacco uh, that it's really really wet and the structure of it uh, really small, so it's really hard to make it fluffy. That's another <laughs> important minus of it. So, if you have any questions about the Russian products or other things, write them in the comments and I will try to answer all of your questions. Also, if you have any uh, suggestions about what would you like to know more, maybe from the Russian products or how to work with the shisha, how to make it really smoky one, write them also in the comments. So. It was Hooker Donald, my first English video. Subscribe for the channel, put the like button, check the description. Also check my other social networks, write your questions in the comments. It was Hooker Donald, see you in the next video.